Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're about to be playing the Call of Duty Vanguard Alpha before everybody else. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, all you have to do is download the Alpha. It says play beta right there, but it's actually the Alpha. You gotta click on it. Can't use DualShock 4 wireless controller to play PS5 games. You're telling me I can't use my scuff game controller. You can't be serious. Call of Duty Vanguard. Go ahead. Press X, you know, fiddle with your settings. That's, I, I'm cool with whatever. Now it's going to save this, right? The combination on the controls, you can click and it bypasses throughout the whole thing. All you have to do is hit X square square triangle X. So here we go. And we're in. We're already loading into a map. Telling you guys you got to do the X square square triangle X. It doesn't even come out to the 27th. And it's like, I'm already playing on the 24th. You know what I'm saying? Nah, but in all seriousness, I think this game is low-key underrated, bro. Like, no cap. You know, World War 2 wasn't the best quality. There's my sick drifts. Um, but... It had a lot of features in it that were actually pretty dope. This game was pretty confusing if you didn't really know how it worked, like with the whole divisions and everything. It was it was kind of complex, a little bit more complex than it, I guess it could have been or needed to be. But customization in this game for your characters was actually pretty cracked. Like there was a million different uniforms. I'm a Grim Reaper in this game, you know what I'm saying? Like their customization in this game was pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. There's a bunch of them, different colorways, you know what I'm saying? And these didn't cost 20 bucks per pop, you know what I'm saying? And there was a bunch of these. This is just the allies version. This is all their, like, different things. And there's a bunch of them inside of them. Um, and this is just for a mountain division, you know what I'm saying? There's a bunch of different divisions. These are all divisions, and they all have their own skin ways, and it's pretty sick. This game also did have paint jobs. I think this might be the last game with paint jobs. I never used or made any paint jobs in this game. I think it was just a little bit weird or it's broken when the game launched or something. Um... But yeah, the camos I was never really huge into, but there's a there's a lot of camos. I, I almost have none of these unlocked, but the customization in this game was pretty top tier. I'd give it, wait, is this a ray gun? They got like a fucking ray gun charm, even though it's not really a ray gun. But I'd give the customization in this game a good like 8.5 out of 10. I'm not gonna cap. And a lot of the Call of Duties, they're getting a solid like four or five out of 10. Like Cold War Modern Warfare, bro, like their skins, they're not that cool you know what i'm saying at least to me i don't know why there was actually one skin that i was impressed with and that was like the dark ether crystal one that just came out for cold war and warzone and one of my favorite features to any call of duty ever is this right here headquarters mostly because of the sheer fact that there's a 1v1 pit it holds a leaderboard right here right now it's just loading all of them in because i just got into the headquarters but what kind of made this game kind of fall off especially with headquarters is at the start of the game it wasn't in i think about six months in or so this actually became a thing but I used to grind this thing. I used to have a series on my channel where I did a 1v1 pit series, King of the Pit. But just the concept of this, and they definitely can expand and add more to, you know, this place, the headquarters. I don't know if they're doing that next year for Vanguard, but if they do, oh. I'm ranked 20,000th in the world, right? I went on a 30 win streak. I have 652 wins at a 71.10% win ratio. I used to grind this. Not a crazy amount, but I used to grind it a little bit in between my matches. Because I used to compete in this Call of Duty. Now, zombies, on the other hand, forget about it. Banner protects, baby. Low-key, they, they should add that to, like, BO3's banner protect system for comp was low-key kind of fire. Let's see if I actually win this. Oh, my God. I thought this was a single fire... Oh no. Dude, you could bunny hop in this game. I forgot about that. Oh, we don't want a chicken dinner. No, but I am excited for next year. I think it's going to be better than what people think it's actually going to be. I think they're going to be surprised. Although, I did say the same thing about Cold War. And Cold War was dope. It was a good game, um, in my opinion. It's just, you know, at least on the zombie side, it kind of fell off a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I cannot shoot this guy, and he cannot shoot me. We are terrible. I keep missing. I don't even know if this guy's even shooting. There was this thing that you could do. I'm gonna do it right now. You used to be able to mantle on this. Pop him up top. I'm telling you, man, I got high hopes for this next COD. If multiplayer is bad, which apparently it's supposed to be like Modern Warfare 2019. Uh, like mechanic wise and all that kind of stuff. Uh, graphically, it's on the same engine. But here's the thing. I mean, I wasn't I wasn't that much of a hater of Ender 2019. Um, it was a good game when I played it. Um, I think if that game would have had a good rank system, I would have liked it a lot more. But Sledgehammer, you know, typically they got good customization, which is good. This is the last game. They got good customization in this and Advanced Warfare. They're both pretty insane games for skins and all that other stuff. Oh, for the 360. As long as the game's finished when it like it actually launches, there's no like weird glitches, there's no bugs, there's no connection issues, any of that. 
I think it's going to be a pretty solid game. I'm just going to sit here and keep beating this guy because he's not leaving. I'm excited to see how this alpha is going to be played uh, with this new champion hell mode. I think it's going to be pretty dope. You guys can tune into the Twitch. If you guys don't already follow it. Got a link in my description. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be playing it all day as soon as it comes out. Oh my god, he didn't even have a chance. I literally just destroyed him. Yeah, I don't think anybody's gonna be uh, challenging me now. They all just left. Alright, man, I'm gonna end the video there. Follow the Twitch, you guys don't already follow it. Link in the description. Yeah, man. As always, I'm out. Peace. I'm just here to hold your hand when you die. And the show's never by the mention every place.